What's going on everyone? I'm the UP Jellicent and we are back here on Pokemon Showdown today. We're going to be using this Electrum Z Thunderer's T-Team in the OU tier. It's pretty standard moveset right here with Nasty Plot, T-Bolt, HP Ice, and Agility. The way this set works is against more bulkier teams you want to get up a Nasty Plot and you can use Thunderbolt plus HP Ice to wall break. And against more offensive teams you click Agility and since most offensive teams have pretty frail Pokemon, you can just sweep through them late game with Thunderbolt plus HP Ice and if you end up getting both you pretty much win the match. But the only thing that really wants to take this on 1v1 are bulkier grass types such as Tangrowth, Amoongus, and Ferrothorn, as well as Chansey, but we have a lot of support for this Pokemon which can also handle those Pokemon, so let's go ahead and move on to our next Pokemon which is a bulky Mega Scissor right here. With Defog, U-Turn, Bullet Punch, and Roost, it is our most primary form of hazard control since obviously Thunderous T does not appreciate Stealth Rocks at all, but it can also, U-Turn uh, can also help us out to get in heavy hitters such as our Banded Zygarde and our Specs Battle Bond Ash Greninja which does pack Ice Beam to help take on Tangrowth, but Banded Zygarde is our primary way of breaking through Chansey. We do have Knock Off on our defensive Lander's T right here just to help, off, help us out with that. Knock Off that Aviolite and then Banded Thousand Arrows can two hit KO. And then finally we have Soul Dulati right here. Secondary form is Hazard Control in case Scissor ends up going down early, but Draco Meter, Psy Shock, and Recover. Pretty standard coverage, but really the idea with this team is you just pivot around, try to wall break with your Zygarde and your uh, Specs of Battle Bond Ash Greninja, try to get a Barrax with our, your defensive landers if you can, and then finally Electrum Z Thunderous T can clean late game. So that is going to be the team. It'll be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out alongside me, and I'll be right back with our first match. Alright, we got our first match right here, up against a nice Zygarde squad. Definitely a very threatening Mon. You know what's really threatening to him though? Our Greninja. Uh, the only thing that actually wants to take it on is the Ferrothorn. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off here with my Landers to try to get up rocks early. He's going to lead off with Zapdos, which is not the lead that I wanted. Uh, he's probably going to HP Ice right away. I'm going to try to knock off his item. Because I think he, he might switch do try to double out right here. So hopefully this play works out. He goes for Hidden Power, does quite a bit. And uh, we do get a crit knockoff, which is nice. We get the static, but we get rid of Leftovers. So that's worth it in my eyes. I'll just go ahead and go out into my Latios now. Goes for Head and Power Ice again, which is perfectly fine. He has a ton of switch-ins right here, so I'm actually going to make a double out into my Zygarde, expecting one of them to come in. Goes out into Heatran, which is great, and I can just go ahead and throw off a thousand arrows into the Clefable. Hopefully this two-hit KOs. Uh, it's just going to come up short, and uh, unfortunately it looks like he's going to be able to Wish Protect stall me. I'm going to go out here into my Mega Scissor as he does go right for the soft boiled and now I'll just go ahead and U-turn. He does just have to stand. Does he have fire coverage? I think he might have fire coverage. All right, we're going to sack off our Landorus T then and to go from there. He just gets a Brox, kind of unfortunate, but it's fine. I'll just go ahead and uh, try to get up my own. He just goes for Moonblast to knock me out. It's not the scenario that I wanted, obviously, but I'll go out into Thunderous now and to go ahead and Nasty Plot up because he's earning a really bulky team. Goes out into his lander. Is this Scarf? It is Scarf, but uh, thankfully he actually does not have good coverage for me. So out comes Zygarde. I'm going to hit and power ice this. He does go for Bandit Extreme Speed, so at least we know the set. And I can just go out here into my own Mon right now and uh, probably double out. But I'm just going to go ahead and Iron Tail, expecting the Clefable to come in, which we do pack just for this. So we, did, we do need to hit another one. We do get a defense boost right there. He'll probably switch out into Ferrothorn. Yeah, but that's fine. I'll switch out here into my... Latios, as he goes right for the spike. That's perfectly fine though. I'll just go ahead and defog all of this away now. Goes out into his Heatran. That's fine. I'll Psy Shock right here and uh, go from there. I don't know. He might try to get up a rocks again. I'm not quite sure. But uh, this is this is definitely a tougher matchup that we're starting off with. I, unfortunately, Thunderous T went down a lot earlier than I wanted. He goes right for the Magma Storm, which is going to trap me. I'm not going to bother recover stalling him. I'm just going to take whatever damage I can. As he's going to go ahead and taunt. I'm just going to Draco Meteor. As uh, he's going to knock me out with the Swirling Magma. So this is where I go out into this and just go ahead and click Hydro Pump. Hopefully we hit it. This damage could be nice. We do hit it right there, which is cool. But unfortunately, I don't think Greninja can come through. Uh, I'm going to go... He's going to what? Leech Seed? We're going to go Zygarde on a Spike. That's fine. All Thousand Arrows right here. All I need is a damage on this, and he's giving me it, as he just wants to knock off my choice band. Is that Was that really your best option? Because don't I sweep with Hydro Pump now? Goes out into your own Zygarde. We get a crit, which is really nice. Uh, definitely don't want to... I'm just going to Thousand Arrows for the kill. He's... I mean, now we Extreme Seed. It's probably... We saw that I would sped there, so that we could... We might be fine. 
I don't know, this is definitely going to be an interesting end game. Goes out into the Clefable. Now I just a uh, thousand arrows into this. Goes out into its own Zygarde again. Goes Ferrothorn. Alright, so good play. I probably should have thousand arrows right there expecting that. Now I just uh, U turn. Bring in Gren. Goes right for Elite Seed. I gotta go for the Dark Pulse right here. Goes Tran. That's fine. Where it's gonna come down to whether we connect Hydro Pumps now because I'm pretty sure everything's in range. Goes right for Protect. That's fine. Just knock me out, man. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we need to connect to some Hydro Pumps. He's gonna Protect. That's fine. I'll just go for my Pump right here. And I'm pretty sure we're out of range of Extreme Speed. Maybe. Goes Zygarde. And he does knock me out with extreme speed right there. So unfortunately, Greninja could not pull through right there. At least we didn't miss any, though. And uh, that's un unfortunate in my first match right there. But I'll be right back with another one. All right, so rough first match for sure. But we can definitely win this one with our Thunderers too. If we just weaken the Ferrothorn. So that's what we're going to try to go for. I'm going to lead off here with my Zagar Just to try, to try to threaten his lead. He leads off with his Charizard. I can't stand, unfortunately. I have to go out here into my Latios. The only thing is, if he's Charizard X, which he might be on this type of team... It could be a problem. I just don't want him to be Charizard Y and have HP Ice, but I'm going to 1,000 arrows. He's going to go out into a Zapdos, and uh, this is definitely going to just take a ton of damage, yeah. And he has to be a really offensive set, which he's not, because he's leftovers to outspeed me. So he's going to give me damage on Ferrothorn, which is definitely the one mon that's stopping my Thunders from winning right now. And I'm going to go here into my Landorus on probably a Leech Sheed, so we can get up a Rocks alongside him. Yeah, there's a Leech Sheed, and... The reason I want rocks up is I want to pressure that Zapdos when it comes back in, and I also want to break the multi-scale on the Dragonite. So, we do get our Stealth Rocks up, which is perfectly cool. I'm assuming he'll roost, but I'll just go right here into my... This is definitely a tough play. I'm going to go here into my Latios, just because it can take him on. He goes right for Defog, which is perfectly fine, because now... He's at a good amount of health, though. That's the only thing that I don't like. I'm going to Draco Meteor on the off chance he wants to stay in, and that doesn't actually pick up the Knockout. Which is really unfortunate. So he's really spit F from the looks of it. And I'm assuming he'll just go ahead and click Hidden Power Ice right here. So I'll go into my... I don't really know what I want to do. I can Crit Fish, but that's definitely not a good play. I'm going to go here into my Greninja on the Hidden Power Ice. Goes right for Toxic. I guess that was a good mid-ground play too. If anything's getting Toxic, I'm alright with it being Greninja. And I'll just go ahead and Ice Beam right here. Which uh, does over half, which is cool. He's going to go ahead and Roost and... Uh, this is definitely unfortunate because he can definitely roost on me if he really wants to. But he goes Ferrothorn, so we finally force out the Zapdos, which is what I wanted to do this entire time. And I'll go Lando right here. And I'm definitely just going to go ahead and start playing a more offensive game now. He's really healthy with this Ferrothorn at this point. And I'm going to go ahead and knock off, knock off first, just to get rid of the leftovers recovery. And uh, yeah, get rid of that. And uh, uh, at this point in the match, I'm just going to go ahead and U-turn. Because I do want momentum at this point. And he might not even have... Does he static me? He does static parry me. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't, but it's alright. I don't need Landorus healthy. It would be health nice to have healthy for Zard, but... That's fine. We can... Uh, it's still healthy enough, I think, to take up Flare Blitz at, uh, at neutral. So, I'll just go ahead and throw off a thousand arrows right here. He does a ton. We do smack him down. And he goes for a Toxic, which is totally fine. We finally get... I'm pretty sure we just get a knockout now. Because even if he goes back to Ferrothorn, we should be able to take it on. We're going to take a lot of damage in the process, that's for sure. But what I'm actually going to do is just go... I wish we had Hidden Power Fire on Latios. I'm going to click it again. Because unless he has Protect, we knock him out right here. Which I'm really hoping he doesn't. He does have Protect, but that's fine. We can go ahead and Thousand Arrows again. And uh, pretty much, uh, in order to... We're getting rid of the one thing that's stopping my... Thunder is from sweeping, which is the most important thing right here. He tries to double protect on me, which is... That would have been really frustrating, but... That thing is super weak now, and we can just go out into our... We can just go Greninja to revenge kill him. He doesn't actually have any good Dark Pulse switch-ins on his roster. So there's a nice protect. Hopefully this knocks him out. Despite the fact that he is... Got leftovers recovery, so he goes out into his Greninja. So he really wants to preserve that thing just because it can do well against my Thunder still. So hopefully we flinch him right here. Uh, he goes for U-turn to knock me out. That's Battle Bond U-turn, okay. That's a first. And now we that we have to deal with that thing threatening me too, which is definitely unfortunate. I'm going to go right here into my... I'm just going to go into my Latios. And we're going to go ahead and make a double, I think. No, we can't make the double now. I'm going to go ahead and Draco Meteor. The problem is, I can't let that Ferrothorn get so much recovery again. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to Psyshock. And if he stays in and Dragon Claws, then good play. 
He does stay in, so he's actually Zard Y, which is perfectly fine. That should that will two hit KO him, and he just goes for a roost. And uh, what I'll do now is the Psy Shock again. Sex off his Zapdos, and I'm assuming this is where Ferrothorn comes back in. No, actually goes Greninja, which is I guess all right. I actually don't mind that too much. I'm gonna go right here for the Psy Shock. Goes right for Dark Pulse. I'm not sure if he specs and he just had U-Turn, but uh, this is gonna allow me to bring in my Scissor, and I can Mega Evolve right here and just U-Turn out. Goes back out into his uh, Zard Y, which is cool. I can go ahead and U-Turn out and just bring in my Thunder uh, Eye right here. And this is why its speed tier is so troll. We outspeed him by a, a one base speed, which is very nice right now. But since Sun is up, I'm just going to go ahead and Thunderbolt right here. He does go out into his Ferrothorn. I could have Nasty Plot it, but we actually get a Para. I'm going to play off the Para, man. We get a Nasty Plot off, and I'm going to hit and Power Ice this. And the unfortunate thing is, since Greninja is still around... I mean, we lost because we missed a Hydro Pump. Can he miss his? He really has Ice Beam or something. If he has Surf, then that'll probably be a problem too. And he might even have, have Extreme Speed on the Dragonite. Which could definitely break me as well. But the, this is the last Mon... The Greninja is the last Mon that's stopping me from sweeping with my Thunderous. So, if it comes out, I just have to stay in and hope we live something. But this is definitely the best position I could have put myself in after that Ferrothorn did so much work with the Leech Sheet. It's unfortunate that he had Protect, because that thing could just be gone right now, but... We don't need our Z... We, we need our Zima to break their Ferrothorn at the amount of health it's at right now. I'm pretty sure plus 2 HP I should be able to break Dragonite at the health that it's at. So, he might click Extreme Speed. Yeah, there is an Extreme Speed. I think that is Bandit, actually. And uh, he actually lives on 1. Alright, we're going to go ahead and break that with our... Dragonite Soraki Helmet now. This goes for extreme speed again, which is perfectly alright. And I don't know, this is gonna be an interesting end game. He goes Gren, which is what he should do. We're gonna go ahead and do this, and then we're gonna go out into this mon right here and click a U-turn as he goes back to Zard. We can go ahead and bring in our Thunders once again now. And just go ahead and I think T-Bolt goes out into the Ferrothorn to sack it. The good thing right here is the sun is still up, and what I'm actually gonna do is agility. As he goes through the Leech Sheet, and uh, how much did my Thunderbolt do? 22? We have to Gigavolt Havoc right here. Uh, this is definitely a problem. I need this Mon still alive to break through the the other thing, the Zard. So we're just going to T-Bolt. Goes right for... He gets paralyzed. I need one more para, I think, and we should be good. No, we're still not going to be good. I have to switch out, I think. So there's another para, which is cool. The unfortunate thing is if I U-turn, I have to U-turn right here. He goes back to Zard. We go back to this now, and uh, we click T-Bolt. It's going to come down to these games, mind games right here. So uh, he's going to, obviously, I'm going to Nasty Plot on the Protect. He didn't Protect, he went, he got fully paralyzed. Now we just T-Bolt him, knock him out. Goes out into this. I go Scissor right here. He goes for Shuriken. Uh, it's going to come out to this 50-50 now. No, it's actually not, because I U-turn out right here no matter what. And then I go out into this, and we T-Bolt. And... We knock him out, and now he's in bullet punch range, and we're out of range of Shuriken, because he has to knock me out, uh, and he actually just missed right there, so uh, that was definitely a pretty hacksy match with that Ferrothorn right there. He definitely played it pretty well, but I lost the first match to hack, so I'll take that luck right there, and I'll be right back with another match. Alright, we got a third match right here, and uh, this has been a pretty interesting live so far, but pretty much both of the matches have come down to 50-50s, and Greninja's hitting their Hydro Pumps, but Mega Venusaur is another one of those bulky grass types that I forgot to mention at the beginning, which can take on Thunders, but we can break it with our Zygarde as well as our Latios, but other than that, we definitely struggle against it, so I'm actually going to go ahead and lead off here with my Lander, it's just to try, try to get a Barox early. He gets the lead right, and uh, since we're a really offensive team, we actually don't have switch to this. I'm going to go Gren, just because it doesn't actually do well against him. He goes for Hydro Pump. That's definitely Specs. I'll go right here for all the Shuriken, because I feel like he might stay in. No, no, you know what? I'm going to Dark Pulse. And uh, he just he just decided to risk it. Wow. Very surprised he would just risk it like that, but that's fine. You're in range of my bandit extreme speed now, which I think is more important. And we're just going to go out here into our max HP scissor. And just go ahead and uh, click a U-turn now. I don't think you stay in. Just because if I am a random spit F set, you do not even knock me out. He could stay in and do like 90%, I think. And then we knock him out. But this is your win condition. So yeah, he's going to switch out, which is what he should do. And our grand going down is definitely unfortunate, but... We still need to break through that Venusaur, which is the most important part of this match right now. I'm going to go ahead and try to get up my rocks right here. That damage on Greninja is really great. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and get a Barox. Gear what speeds me and goes for Hidden Power Ice. And uh, hopefully that was a speed tie and I can knock off his item right now. Uh, it appears he's outspeeding me both times. We'll see what his item was. It was Rocky Helmet. So it still might be a speed tie, but I don't really touch him with anything. I'll just double knock off. He just knocks me out. That's perfectly cool. I can go out here into my Banded Zygarde. We will have to take an HP Ice, but he doesn't actually have any 1000 arrow switch-ins now. And uh, that does 47. He gets smacked down and he goes for Hidden Power. We do take that just fine, and I can knock him out with the next one now. So, it's definitely an uphill battle from here, but it's definitely not over, since we still do have our Latia Latios alive to take on that Venusaur. The only problem is that Greninja is going to be such a problem. But plus two Thunderous can definitely clutch the match for us, which is what I'm going to go for. Because if it's offensive Magirna, then we do do... I'm pretty sure we do knock that thing out with Electrium Z. Which is what I'm going to have to use it on. We need some damage on Victini for sure too. In fact, if he, if he goes Victini right now, we might put us in a bad spot. This is where Hidden Power Flying, as a potential stab move over Hidden Power Ice, could definitely be useful on Thunders, just because it can hit the bulky grass types, such as Venusaur and Tangrowth, but he's really deciding on what he wants to go out into right here. He should know I'm banded based on the damage, so you either go like Z Torn, Gren, or like Victini, if it's not Z Celebrate. You can even go Venusaur right here and just Mega Evolve, but that's probably not the smartest option since I do have Latios in the back. He goes out into his Greninja, which is what he should do. And uh, I just have to go out here into my Latios on a... What are you going to do, Dark Pulse me? I have to choose a Sack at this point, to be honest. I don't think I can Sack Scissor off just yet. No, you know what, I think I do have to Sack Scissor off and then go for game with my more offensive Mons, so... Goes right for Dark Pulse, we do live that, which is cool, and I'll just go ahead and Bullet Punch for some damage right here. Hopefully he goes ahead and switches out into like Victini and gives me the damage that I need that for my Thunders. The only problem with that is if he does go Victini and he's Z Celebrate, that could be a problem. So he gives me some more damage on this, which is cool. And uh, since we, n I have to go Zygarde right here, and I have to make a prediction right here and just go ahead and click Thousand Arrows, predicting predicting his switch out because he should switch out expecting yeah. So I'm glad I clicked Thousand Arrows right there. We're gonna go ahead and do quite a bit. And, uh, unfortunately, Venusaur is still healthy, which is the mod that we're struggling to break right now. Had he stayed in right there, he would have won. Which is... I, guess it's, I think it might just come down to those 50-50s. I can't stay in right here. I have to go out into my Latios. If he doubles out into Grand, then good play, but... He's gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve and just Giga Drain. I couldn't let him break through me like that. And, uh, I'll go ahead and debug the hazards away, I think, first. Goes right for Sludge Bomb. I'm gonna recover. He should expect the recover and maybe go Grand right here. I really want to play off that choke, but he's going to go out into Victini, actually. Which, we can Draco Meteor this to try to put it in range of extreme speed. I do have to hit it, though, which is quite a lot to ask for. I mean, 90% accurate. We do hit it, and uh, that is in range of extreme speed now. I'm assuming he, he just U-turned, which just cut through me. I don't know if that mattered or not. Probably came down to whether he was banded, but out comes his Greninja again. And we can actually try to win with extreme speed. Unfortunately, though, it's going to come... I have to make another 50-50 right here. I'm going to extreme speed this time. Because if he stays in, then we win. I think. I don't know. Yeah, but if he switches out, it's going to be... It's going to depend on what he switches out into. Come on, man, just stay in and try to go for the game with this. I don't know. Just don't switch out into Venusaur. It's pretty much that. Do I have 1,000 arrows into Venusaur? He actually makes a mid-ground play and sacks the Victini. I guess that works, too. But... I'm doing everything I can to come back right now, but I think we need to agility up with Thunderous and then somehow try to break through Venusaur. So, out comes that Venusaur, and I'll go ahead and, here, I'll go ahead and go out into my Thunderous right here. On a Sludge Bomb, which does to it KO me. I have to, I have to Giga Ult Havoc, it's my strongest attack, and then I think I have to like extreme speed crit him or something like that. It's not going to knock him out, so I'll just take the kill here with 1000 arrows, assuming it even knocks him out. I can Outrage. I mean, I'll just go ahead and do it, because it's strong. And, uh, wow, Mega Venusaur is so bulky. We did live that, but unfortunately he's going to be able to knock me out the next turn with uh, Greninja. It's funny, because had I kept the rocks up, we would have been able to win this with extreme speed at this point. But he's going to go ahead and knock me out with Arrowhead Shuriken. Definitely good plays on his part. I'll go ahead and drop a GG in chat, and I'll be right back with another match. Alright, we got another match right here, and 
Gren has certainly proven to be something this live. I mean, it does really well against this guy too. His only actual answer is the Gastrodon, which almost makes me want to not lead with the Greninja, but it does so well against everything else that I'm going to go ahead and do it. He leads off with his Deontay, which is perfectly fine. He might have Protect a Scout, but I'm actually just going to go ahead and Hydro Pump. He does go Gastrodon. I want it to Dark Pulse, but uh, he's going to go ahead and get Storm Drain, and uh, that's fine. I'll go ahead and switch out here into my Latios, just because it can take him on. He'll probably Toxic, yeah. Unfortunate, I really would have loved to not take that, but I'll Psy Shock right here. And if he tries to recover stall me, that'll definitely be unfortunate. I don't know, we might just we might just not have a way to break through this. He goes Deontay, so I'll take the damage on this. We get a crit too. That's a mean crit. And uh, do I just risk the speed tie? I don't really have switch ins. I can go scissor. And uh, he'll probably click Stealth Rocks, I think. Yeah. And I don't care. I mean he probably knocks me out with hidden power fire if he has it. Alright, so he goes Volcarona. I'm going to U-turn, because I think you Quiver Dance. And uh, I definitely want to put you in range of Shuriken. So, this u turn is not going to do a lot. It actually does a good amount. Please don't Flame Body. Thank you. I can go Zygarde, but if he's Savage Spin Out, I have to go Gren. And he'll probably switch back out into the into the Gastrodon, but it's fine. I'll just go ahead and Shuriken this. Hopefully we get enough hits. 39. Okay, come on. Four hits. We do get enough hits, sweet, and we do get our battle bond, and I don't know, a lot of games just come down to that. We doesn't really have any Dark Pulse switch-ins anymore. He's going to go out into Gastrodon. I'm not going to let him Toxic this. I'm going to go out here into my Latios, and he'll probably throw off a Toxic. Doubles out into Gengar. This is probably Choice Scarf. Do Am I willing to sack this off, or do I just want to go out into something else? I mean, Lottie does work, but it can't really break through Celesteela. He's not even faster than me, and we just outspeed and knock that out. He gets the Cursed Body Disable, but he's just going to go ahead and forfeit anyway. And uh, yeah, after we... It was pretty much came down to that uh, Water Shuriken hits, because had I not gotten enough hits, I would have had to go back out into... Well, first of all, it depend on whether he roosted or attacked me. If he roosted, it would have come down to whether I got 5 hits the next turn. And if he attacked me, then I would have had to go Mega Scissor, Bullet Punch to knock him out, or Zygarde in Extreme Speed. Really hope I don't get Flame Bodied, and it would have just been a really tougher scenario. But thankfully, Greninja managed to come through, and I'll be right back with another match. Alright, so our next match right here is going to be up against a nice rain squad. This guy has zero banded Zagard switch-ins, but unfortunately he has like all the answers to Thunder, so it's Swampert plus Ferrothorn. It can definitely win if we can get rid of the rain and get rocks up, so what I think I want to try to do uh, right first is just lead off here with my Thunders. He does lead off with the Pelipper, and what I'm going to do ahead is I'm just going to go ahead and double out here into my Gren. He might expect Grass Knot though, I'm going to hope he chokes. He does go Ferrothorn, which is not really a choke because it can take me on. And uh, what I'll do now is just go Landorus T right here. Uh, it would suck to have Landorus T get weakened just because it's my primary way of damaging Swampert with Rocky Helmet. But I do want to trade rocks with him if that's what he wants to do. So I'll get up rocks now. He goes hard out into his Swampert, which is perfectly fine. I'll just go ahead and we have to sack against this. I don't see Scissor doing anything. I mean, it can take on Crawdont. At the very least, but nah, it's not worth keeping. I'm assuming he has Hurricane on Torn and Thunder on Coco. There's a Waterfall, it does quite a bit. And I'll just Mega Evolve and uh, Bullet Punch for a bit of damage before he knocks me out. And uh, now I can go Landorus right here. Go ahead and Earthquake this guy. He might switch out, but I don't really care if he does. I just want the Intimidate off, and hopefully this Waterfalls me and doesn't flinch me, so that way I got Rocky Helmet and the. Uh, What's it called? The uh, Earthquake damage off, and then I can go out into my Greninja and Shuriken for the kill. So there's a Waterfall, just don't flinch me, please. Uh, he doesn't flinch me, and we get the Earthquake off, so that's great. And uh, I can just go ahead and uh, Earthquake again. Do, do I want to do that, or do I just want to switch out to Preserve Intimidate? I think I'm going to switch out to Preserve Intimidate. Nah, you know what? He does go Torn, so that's fine. I'll just go ahead and switch out into my Lottie right here. He'll probably U-turn. This goes right for Hurricane. I'm not sure if he'll risk hitting it again. But I'll Psy Shock on the off chance that's what he wants to do. He probably has a knockoff or something. But uh, Lottie wasn't doing anything. It wasn't breaking Ferrothorn, which he's actually just going to go out into. So this probably has like spikes or something, but this guy's giving me an opportunity to recover, which is cool. He goes right for Leech Seed, and I'll just recover again. And then, once again, Ferrothorn is going to be kind of an issue. I just need damage on this. He has a Gyro Ball, actually. Alright, you know what? We're going to defog these hazards away, and then we're going to... Do I want to defog for him, too? Uh, interesting question. We're going to Draco, and I'm just going to hope he knocks me out. And over getting up more hazards. If he gets up a spike right here... Actually, goes Pelipper. Can I... 
will Draco knock you out? It just straight up knocks him out. So now this is the end of rain for him. Once rain goes down, that's it. So he goes out into the Swampert. My play here is into Landorus to immediately get off that Intimidate. So that's what we are going to do. He goes right for the Waterfall, and now I can just go uh, Grin. And I want to—I really want to predict Ferrothorn, but we're just going to Shuriken right here. He does go Ferrothorn, which is—it uh, still takes quite a bit from that. And I'll go—I'll go Latios now. He'll definitely get back to a good amount of health. He goes for Elite Seed. Now I can bring out my Zygarde and start spamming Thousand Arrows, and he had, doesn't have enough Rain turns left, so Thousand Arrows is going to come off right here. Depending on his spread, I think it's more defensive. Oh, never mind, he's a really spit F. Goes right for Power Up, which doesn't even do that much, and I can just Thousand Arrows this. Slacks off Swampert, which is fine. Now he'll go out into his Tapu Koko, I guess. But, uh, I wish we had more Rain turns for our Gren, as crazy as that sounds. Goes out into the Tapu Koko. I'll just go here for the... I want to go... I'm going to go Grand on an HP Ice. Yeah. We do catch that. And uh, this does allow me to click Shuriken right here. And hopefully we get a good amount of hits. The Rain is still up, which is great. And if we get enough hits on this Tapu Koko right now, we should be fine. Okay, so he goes Ferrothorn. We just need enough hits on this to knock him out. Four. Six. Five. Only three. That's all, that's all this got, unfortunately. And I'll just go right here into my Zygarde. On the Leech Seed. All this thousand arrows right here. We get another kill at least. Hopefully he doesn't have protect. The last guy did. This guy might not though, because I'm pretty sure he saw we already saw all his moves, right? Power Whip, Gyro Ball, Leech Seed, and Stealth Rock, yeah. So no, Swamper didn't click Stealth Rock, did it? It just attacked. So we knocked that out, and uh, he's not gonna get Leech Seed recovery. So we might be able to win with our with either of our minds, actually. He goes out into Tapu Koko right here. We're gonna stay in. I think he has to T-Bolt. He, he gets to play right, unfortunately. And uh, he might be locked into that. I'm not sure. But we're going to go Gren. And just go ahead and Shuriken. And then we're going to try to go for Game of Thunders. Come on, get enough hits right here, Gren. 15, 14. Ah, so close. And uh, he's going to knock me out with U-Turn. That thing does on entry, though. So we might have clutched it out. Actually, I think we did clutch it out. Unless Aqua Jet plus one attack from Torn knocks me out. Aqua Jet from Crowdont plus one attack from Torn. <laughs> we just got all five hits. Had we gotten any lower amount of hits right there, the game would be over right now. But we might be able to clutch this. He goes Torn first. So my play right here is T-Volt. I mean, I guess my play right here could go Volt Havoc because I know we knock out Crowdont with the T-Volt. Goes for knockoff. I need to take an Aqua Jet is what it's going to come down to. Which I don't think we do. But on the off chance we do, we win. Goes Crowdont, uh, come on, take this Aqua Jet Torn. We don't, he's gonna knock me out, and <laughs> that's going to be the game. So, really good game right there. I mean, obviously, me connecting Shuriken hits was really the only reason why I had a chance right there, but that's all right, I'll take the loss, and I'll be right back with one final battle. All right, so we got our final match right here. Gonna be against a nice dual terrain squad, some type Lele plus the Mega Metachamp, and the Coco plus the Halucha. So, this is definitely interesting, because you actually cannot click your priority attacks with Metachamp under Psychic Terrain, so it might not have any, but... I'm going to lead off with Gren. He's going to lead off with his Lando. I'm not sure if he's... What's it called? Uh, scarf or not, but I'm going to Shuriken. Just because it does appear he's Scarf. If we get enough hits, that would be great, but I'm not really asking for it. Yeah, he do we don't get enough hits. He goes for rocks, though. I mean, my play is Shuriken again. He knows where Spec, so he just goes Tapu Lele, which is fine. My play right here is... I mean, I can't Bullet Punch with Mega Scissors, so that's not really much of a play. What do you do right here? Moonblast? Yeah, he Moonblast right here. I'm going to go Scissor on the uh, probably Moonblast, and then we can go from there. If he HP fires right away, good play. Actually, goes right for Psychic. Wow. If he's locked into that, that could be that would be weird, but I'm going to go right here for the Roost as he goes right back into his Lando, and I don't think Bullet Punch is going to knock him out, but it's definitely the only thing I have to do against this, so it does pick him off. Cool. And let's see what he wants to bring out next. Probably Mega Metacham. I mean, it can't knock me out. He does go Metacham. I'll just U-turn because I know we can take him on. Uh, he kicks me. We do take that just fine. And I can U-turn out right here. We get a crit, which is definitely unfortunate for him. And uh, this does allow me to bring out my Greninja. Psychic Terrain is going down, so he can get Bullet Punch Chip on me if he wants to, but I'll just Dark Pulse right here. I can Hydro, but I don't want Gyarados coming. I mean, Gyarados is going to come in anyway. I'll Hydro Pump. And uh, we do get our Battle Mod, which is sweet. And he's probably Scarf Lele. Yeah, there's the Tapu Lele again. And uh, our Scissor is super weak right now, so we can't really use it as a, an answer. 
We're gonna sack it then, just because it can't really do anything now. Goes right for Moonblast just to pick me off. So since he's locked into Moonblast, my play right here is into my landers. And I'm gonna try to get up rocks. I know it's risky just because we're in front this is this is what's in front of us right now, but I'm gonna try to get up rocks right here. He does just stay in, which is fine. As long as Psychic Terrain goes down eventually, which it will. Does Thunderous take this hit? Is a good question. I think I have to go out into it. Just hope it does. I mean, this Thunderous, it should take one. And go uh, go ahead and be able to click Google Tavic. Yeah, so we do live that, and uh, we do uh, we are able to go ahead and probably knock him out. Yeah, because that's so strong. Base 145, special attack. And he has to go Tapu Koko, I think. Because nothing else can set up on me. I mean, unless it's Psychic Seed. But it uh, appears it is Electric Seed, so... He goes Tapu Koko, all uh, T-Bolt right here. Goes right for the screen. Alright, so that's our plan. I'm just going to start nasty plotting up. I'm not sure if you even have an attack to hit me. We're going to T-Bolt now. Goes right for Taunt, that's fine. I'll go ahead and uh, T-Bolt again. And pretty much, I'm not going to let you get your... He sucks off Gyarados. I'm not, you can't set up with Halucha, is pretty much what I'm going for right now. Goes for Acrobatics just to knock me out. Now we go out into this. And uh, we go ahead and click Draco Meteor, I think. I think Sashak's a better play. He's at plus one with a Reflect Up. And uh, Draco Meteor, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Draco and hope we hit it. He goes for uh, Swords Dance. We need to hit this, and uh, we missed it. Alright, so that's gonna, probably going to be the game. Unless Zygarde lives the hit, but I don't think it will. You know what I can go for? He has one turn of screen left. I'm going to go here into my Zygarde. Extreme speed, and then hope we get enough shuriken. It knocks me out. So he did knock me out, and now because of that Draco miss, I have to shuriken right here and just hope it knocks him out. Twenty-seven. Oh wait, wait. It's definitely gonna knock him out because, and he's gonna go ahead and uh, forfeit. I don't know what just happened, but I guess I clicked last turn by accident. But he forfeited. How healthy was Tapu Koko? It was at forty-four. Oh yeah. So we definitely. I, I, I sometimes forget that Greninja always gets three shuriken hits no matter what, but that's great. We managed to clutch that out despite the Draco miss right there. That was definitely pretty scary, but we're going to go ahead and end it off right there. Nice and even record, as I said, at three and three, so that's really nice. And yeah, the team is down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out. Definitely be sure to go ahead and put a fire type move on it. If you are new, be sure to go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.